When uh, people come to the island of Oahu, I think that it would be safe to say that most of them are coming here to go to Pearl Harbor and then to go uh, hang out at the beach. Well, we've been to Pearl Harbor and I'm not most people and uh, I actually hate the beach. I don't think that the beach has anything to offer except for sand and sun poisoning and uh, skin cancer. So anyway, instead of going and hanging out at the beach with everybody else, well, I've drugged my wife back here into the jungle. And uh, we're trekking back, oh, probably about a mile and a half to two miles to a site that I'm hoping has some ties to the Second World War. Well, this has nothing to do with history, but uh, here's something that I don't really get to see too often. Big old giant snail. I'm talking a big one. Look at that thing. That is a heavyweight. So uh, imagine for a moment that you're a guy like me. And uh, maybe you grew up in the Midwest and uh, grew up on a farm hauling hay and raising cattle. And all of a sudden, you're getting thrown into an environment like this that you are completely unfamiliar with. Well, that's a situation that a lot of young men found themselves in in the early 1940s whenever they maybe volunteered or got drafted to fight in the Second World War. So the Army and Marines brought them out to places like this. This is on the uh, kind of the northern end of Oahu uh, to undergo jungle warfare training in preparation for their trip uh, over to the South Pacific to places like the Philippines or Okinawa or uh, Saipan. Uh, and it, it was right here where they were going to get trained on uh, what they were going to be facing in the coming months. So the uh, temperature, oh, just bumped my head on a tree. Uh, the temperature today is uh, oh, probably around 85, 90 degrees. Humidity is insanely high. And look at this tangled mess that we are making our way through. All right coming out into this clearing and I uh, just got a glimpse of something ahead and uh, yeah look at this so back here deep in the jungles of Hawaii we have some Japanese bunkers or uh, Japanese ish uh, I mentioned that this area was used as a jungle warfare training center so the u.s military built these mock japanese bunkers to help uh, train 
Marines and infantrymen on uh, how to assault a fortified position. And I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like the back of this one might have got blown out. Let's take a look. I think this is... Yeah, if you look at this, this is the back end. We'll go up here and take a look at the front. And, uh, oh, we've actually got three of these mock bunkers back here. But yeah, if we come around, the area behind me looks like it, it kind of drops off. So this area right here uh, might have been used to train some of these young guys on how to assault a position on, on a high point uh, in a with an enemy in a fortified bunker. I'll take a quick look over here. Very, very interesting. Huh. All right, I was just kind of walking back here a little bit further to see just what this terrain did and uh, happened to find another one of these concrete training bunkers and uh, this one this one looks a little a little worse for the wear uh, as a matter of fact we're gonna have kind of a difficult time getting in there but yeah you can see another one of those this is a kind of a, a lower uh, constructed bunker this one doesn't quite stick up as high as the others but yeah another another variation of the, the training bunkers back here in the jungle Got something else back here. Don't know what it is because the jungle has kind of reclaimed it. Uh, but in addition to bunkers, I know that there were a bunch of tank traps that were back here too that uh, they probably were getting training on how to demolish and uh, get around. Have to give my wife credit on this one. She, she found uh, this relic. I uh, also have to give my wife credit uh, for coming back here in the jungle with me instead of going and hanging out on the stupid beach. All right, so there you go. Uh, those are some of the training bunkers back here in the forests of Kahana. Now, all total, there ended up being about 300,000 servicemen who came through this area learning how to operate uh, machine guns and flamethrowers and grenades and all kinds of things like that in a jungle environment. They had little mock villages uh, that were set up back here. I, I don't know if those even exist anymore though, but uh, kind of sobering to think that uh, a lot of the men who, who came through here uh, wouldn't be making it back home. Um, but yeah, a lot of guys who trained here. And then there were uh, other divisions who, who trained on other islands. I know that the 77th Infantry Division that Desmond Doss was in trained here on Oahu, so probably came through this area. Uh, the 2nd and 4th Marine Division, they were on uh, another island. The, which island it was escapes me right now. But uh, anyway, all those guys were right here in the Hawaiian Islands getting ready to go fight in the Pacific in places like the islands that we're going to be going to next in Saipan and Guam and Tinian.